What would it mean for AI to become conscious? If you're new to this channel, welcome! This is Mr. Singularity, where we explore the scientific and technological breakthroughs shaping the future as we know it. When artificial intelligence programs take on more roles and solve more challenges, it's impossible to know which develops faster – our trust in them or our fear in them. Futurist Ray Kurzweil claimed that by 2029, machines would have moral intelligence and be as convincing as humans. We don't know how reliable the forecast can become, yet even though it requires longer than 10 years, are robots still able to become conscious? When the Kurzweil machines explain that they are alive, does it really imply that they are? Around this juncture, maybe a more important issue is, what is awareness and how can we reproduce it if we don't grasp it? Experts from academia and industry discuss these issues and more in a panel discussion at South by Southwest, entitled, How AI Will Design the Human Future. Wait, what is this AI? Most of the recent features of AI – diagnosing disease, engaging in discussion, writing realistic text – involves machine learning, using statistics to find patterns in large datasets, then using these patterns to make predictions. Nevertheless, AI has been used to refer to anything from simple manipulation of software and algorithms, to complex artificial intelligence and fundamental thinking. The word artificial intelligence is frequently and sometimes wrongly tossed around. However, one survey showed that 40% of EU businesses pretended to be operating with or utilising AI did not currently do technology at all. Some of the first things we really need to do was describe AI. They described it as a set of various technologies influenced by the human brain in order to be able to interpret their external world, and to find out what behaviours to take provided from their input. Modelling what is unknown. Here's the weird thing about that concept, and about AI itself. Literally, we're attempting to recreate the human brain's abilities without getting anything similar to a detailed understanding of how the human brain works. We're starting to pair our brains with computers, but brains don't understand brains from computers. Stone said, Dr. Heber Berlin, a cognitive neuroscientist and psychiatry professor at Mount Sinai's Ekian School of Medicine, agreed. Why this £3 piece of matter will give us all of our individual perceptions, feelings and impulses is indeed one of the biggest mysteries. That's not to suggest we're not making progress. In recent years there have been major breakthroughs in neuroscience. This has long been the stuff of science fiction, but now there's meaningful research going on in this field," said Amir Hussain, CEO and creator of Spark Cognition, an Austin-based AI firm. Advances of brain-machine interactions show just how much better we now appreciate the brain than we did a few years before. For individuals who have been affected by accident or disease, neural devices are used to regain speech or mobility skills. To treat conditions like Parkinson's, PTSD and depression, scientists have been able to transfer signals from the brain to prosthetic limbs and stimulate specific circuits in the brain. But much of the inner workings of the brain remain a deep, dark mystery, one that will have to be resolved further if we are to ever get away from narrow AI, which refers to systems that can perform specific tasks and is where the technology stands today to artificial general intelligence, or systems that have the same level of intelligence and the ability to learn as humans. The biggest question that arises here, and one that is becoming a popular theme across stories and films, is whether machines achieve general intelligence at the human level, does that also mean they would be conscious? Wait. Whose knowledge is this? However important as the information we have gained regarding the brain is, as we seek to bring it all together and explain the mind, it feels like nothing more than a series of unrelated data. If you can replace one neuron with a silicon chip that is capable of performing the same function, then replace another neuron and another one, where are you still? These systems will be able to pass the Turing test, so we need another concept for how consciousness is measured. Is awareness therefore a tangible phenomenon? Rather than gradually progressing or moving through some grey area, isn't it pretty black and white? A being is either conscious or not. According to Berlin, that could be an outmodeled form of living. It used to be that only theorists might research consciousness, but now, from a practical viewpoint, we can observe it. She said, we can measure nerve pathway changes. It's arbitrary because it relies on being reportable. She defined three stages of consciousness. Mere subjective experience, look, the sky is blue. Knowledge of one's subjective experience, oh it's me who is seeing the blue sky, and linked one subjective experience to another. The blue sky reminds me of a blue ocean. 
such arbitrary systems occur all the way through the realm of animals. As humans, such arbitrary systems occur all the way through the realm of animals. As humans, we have a sense of self that gives us another depth to that experience, but for pure sensation it is not necessary. Hussein went a few steps with this definition. It is the self-awareness, this idea that I exist separately from all else and that I can model myself. Human brains have a stunning simulator, in their minds they can virtually propose a course of action and see how things play out. The ability to include yourself as an actor means that you have a computation running on your own idea. Some of the choices we create include looking at various consequences, worrying of whether we will be influenced by each result and deciding which result we will like more. Complex things in the universe that you want to do are related to the capacity to predict the future, at least based on the theoretical model. I do not see a challenge applying some kind of consciousness within that vision. Going ahead with patience, but not too carefully. Please be sure we are nowhere near computers attaining artificial general intelligence or consciousness, and whether a thinking computer is possible, not to mention appropriate or desirable, is still very much up for discussion. However, as machine intelligence keeps advancing, we will need to carefully walk the line between progress and risk management. Improving the transparency and explanation of AI systems is one of the key goals that AI developers and researchers are working towards. AI shouldn't progress, particularly in systems that may mean the difference between life and death, without humans being able to track how they make choices and draw judgments. A prime example of this is medicine. There are advances already that could save lives, but they are not being used because doctors and nurses don't trust them. Stone said, We need to make sure there is transparency, Requiring too much transparency would also be a mistake though, because it will hinder the development of systems that could best save lives and at worst improve efficiency and free doctors to have more time to have face time with patients. Likewise, self-driving cars have great potential to reduce fatalities caused by traffic. But while humans cause thousands of deadly crashes every day, we are terrified by the idea of self-driving cars, which are anything less than perfect. If we only accept autonomous cars when the likelihood of an accident is zero, then we will never accept them. Nevertheless, we give 16 year olds the opportunity to take a road test with no idea what's going on in their brains. This brings us back to the fact that we are working towards an end in building tech, modelled on the human brain, which has evolved over millions of years, whose means we don't fully understand, be it as something as basic as choosing when to brake or accelerate, or something as complex as measuring consciousness. We shouldn't charge ahead just because we can do things. The technology can be very powerful, which is exciting, but we have to take its implications into account. If you have made it this far in the video, thank you and welcome to the end of the video club. What's your take on this? Let me know down in the comments below and check out one of these other videos. This has been Mr Singularity and I'll see you on the next one.